Welcome to our second stop at Lookout Key at Lighthouse Point. You can see they've already cleared for people to go. We went to Island yesterday. We went to Castaway Key yesterday. A little bit different. You can see they've already started. People have already started going ashore, heading Ow. for their spot. Nice and humid out. Well, we're gonna go and get some breakfast at Cabana's. Big hey. wagon. Big wagon. Oh yeah, they do have the wagons down there. We'll have to grab one. Here's the specialty item for today is a sausage, egg, and cheese slider. In true Disney Cruise fashion, my plate is overflowing. So after breakfast, quick little stop at the room. I say quick, it took us a little while to get all sunscreen up and into our bathing suits and stuff. Get ready for the walk over to Lighthouse Point. It's about 1040 right now, so we're getting on, getting off the ship pretty late. So we'll see how many chairs are left. We'll find a good spot to sit. And then we've got the one main thing that I want to do today is I want to see Sebastian's Cove because they do have an open house, which is an uncommon thing for the kids club on the islands, at least. At least it is on Castaway. So we're headed in. We're going to have a look around. It's going to be a good time. All right, it's very windy today on the island. So hopefully you guys can hear me. Look at the size of these waves. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Oh. So it is a windy day, a blustery day on the island. But that'll be good because it won't be as warm and hot. The thing is though, I'm wondering how the water is gonna look. Out here, it already looks bluer than it did on the first day. Out here it was green on the first day, now it's blue. Still very beautiful. Maybe I didn't notice this the last time we were here, but now there's a water station halfway down the pier. Fortunately right now it is out of water. This is cool looking right here. It's a rough day. The waves are breaking against this rock. Let's see if we can get, oh here comes one. Whoa, yeah, look at that, that was cool. Heck yeah. I am, this is the Cabana Beach. Real rough out there today. I'm interested to see what the family beach looks like because it's like around the other side, but sort of like directly, the waves are coming directly in. So let's see how rough it is. Now that we're on the island, you can see that they have the first and last chance is fully stocked today. Lots of stuff going on over here. Well, I kind of like this. This bag here is nice. Oh, well, you can put your iPad inside of this aqua pouch. This is nice too. Oh, it's for uh, like a, it's like a koozie that your beer bottle or your soda can can fit inside of for $19.99. It's a good idea. I like this hat too. Well, this one's nice. You gotta have like a little, what do you call this? Like a pork pie hat. I just noticed on the outside of the tram, you've got the curly tailed lizard. Anything else? Just the fish? Where's the money back bond? I also found out that the cabanas, the private cabanas over here, these are the family cabanas. There are some cabanas in Serenity Bay too, but these have their own food location, their own bar over here because they're pretty far from everybody. There are way less people looking at the merchandise today than there was the first day that we got here. Looking at some of the spirit jerseys, some of the shirts. I really like this thing. Is it, it's not from a, like a specific company because right underneath it is a corksicle for lookout key, but nothing, this one's just like its own thing. But there's not anything that says like inaugural, unless that all got sold out yesterday or the last time we were here. I would get this for Jackson if they have his size. Oh, look at this guy. Well, that's exciting. I have a pin set here. And then that's the only one that I'm seeing specific to Lookout Key. This is a, uh, what do I call this? Like a postcard? Okay, there's some more over here. Cruise line ones. But this one's specific to Lookout Key. This is just cruise line. This is the full pin set to Lookout Key. And then we've got some keychains. Not seeing any specific to Lookout Key. Yeah, just those two pins are the only ones that I found for Lookout Key. This is nice. It's like a, a blanket, but it folds up within itself. Pretty soft, too. It kind of feels like a carpet, but like a really soft carpet. They're pretty cool. Like, I could admit, though, I'm not like 100% sold on any Lookout Key shirt. I think I do that green You're going to get that one? Just, yeah. Okay. Aside from the various merch, I did also want to point out you can get sunscreen, Blistex, diaper wipes, diaper cream, swim diapers, tampons. Uh, lidocaine bug spray okay like aloe with bug spray but I'm not oh and pads down there but I'm not seeing regular diapers and we made it over to see how the waves look and because we have this reef out here we don't really have to worry about the waves crashing too big on shore it is protecting us it's what we call a barrier reef first stop we're gonna check in on the food situation and the fly situation 
So far, it seems like people are going to all of the windows. So maybe the flies are not an issue today. The ice cream machines are working. The ice machines are working. We are being fully redeemed. Okay. So the flies are significantly less. They are still here, but they are significantly less. You can see there's still some around, but oh yeah, they've keep, been keeping all the food covered and been doling it out to people. Okay, so that's a good sign. If you remember, this bush was covered last time. Now there are still here and flying around. They are still here, but it seems like the steps that they are taking are working. Oh, they've got one of those like spinners over top of the food in there, but there is just a fly on the chicken in there. So that says to me that they are taking steps to do something about the flies. That also says to me that from here on out, it should just start to get better and better and better and better. So that's great. We like that. We are headed down to the nature trail now. We're gonna go to the lighthouse. We're gonna go down to the beach, see what it's all about. See what the views are like down there. Once we got to the end of the boardwalk, there's a little split in the path here. If you go to the left, it just takes you back down to the beach right here. But we're gonna go to the right here and head up to the nature trail. They have signs along the way here talking about the different animals. This is the land crab and this is Sandy the land crab. A specific character made for Lighthouse Point. And then it gives some more information about them. This is probably something that they just set up so it's not fully set up yet. So this is where they would put a water jug, fill it with water and there's some cups in there for you to access on the nature trail. All right, we're taking the nature trail this way. It is off the beaten path. So there is another exit from this roundabout and this just leads up to uh, Goombe tram station. We are definitely gonna be looking for the money bat moth. Oh, I thought it was money back moth. Money bat moth, because apparently if one of them lands on you, then, oh, it says, the other part of the money bat moth name comes from the Bohemian legend that says if one lands on someone, that person will come into money. Let's do it. Here, moth, 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 moth. I do have to warn you, before you come on this trail on your trip, it is not paved, the loose sand. I think they might pave it later, maybe not though, who knows. But right now it's not paved and there's a, not a lot of air movement back here. So it feels like we're back in Florida you know, on a little like nature path. We can see some kind of rocky cliffs over there too. Huh, that's cool looking. There is like a planter here, another spot. That one actually has a, a jug for water in it. We'll check and see if there's water in there. Oh, somebody went right through the planter. So it's feeling like they are gonna pave this later. Curly-tailed lizard. This one was named Lizzie, the curly-tailed lizard. Did you know the curly-tailed lizards are incredibly fast and capable of speeds up to 15 miles per hour? Wow. When scaled, makes them as fast as cheetahs. So if this lizard was the size of a cheetah, it would be able to run as fast as a cheetah. There's a little bit of water in there. So there is a split in the trail to the right leads up to the lighthouse to the left leads down to the beach we'll start out with the lighthouse first so we're making a right look at this that's really cool looking so there's also a second split that'll lead you down to the ocean this way like i said still going up the top to the lighthouse so there is another trail that they are still building in this direction and this one just says restricted vehicles only do not enter so they are still working on it. You can see this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, this one will be part of the trail. And we do know that it will be paved because there will be wheelchair access. So you can see the wheelchair accessibility. That will have access eventually, just not right now. This section of the trail is particularly hot. It is baking up here. So be prepared for that. We have done it. We have found the lighthouse. There it is. It's up on a high outcropping and you can see the light up on top of it, but it is not a traditional looking lighthouse. Ooh, some form of previous structure. This kind of just looks like a rock that they carved out that was up here that maybe they inhabited. You can see they are still working on covering up the holes in the outside of the lighthouse to make sure that nobody sneaks inside because we are very far away from medical attention, so I would not recommend trying to get up inside this lighthouse yeah there it is the light of the lighthouse there is a sign here that says for your safety stay on the path there is a rope here but there's also a little walkway down there and on the map they originally had mapped out something further down that was further out than the lighthouse but it's currently not here so yeah on the map they kind of sort of show another little roundabout out there on this rock outcropping. So maybe within a year or so, you'll be able to go a little bit further. But for right now, 
please stay on the path. But I got to take a picture of the lighthouse. There's a guy over there on the cliff and somebody said, are they jumping off? I said, I think so. It seems unsafe. And then he stepped over the rope and said, bright, and then walked on. You can see people are out doing things they're not supposed to do, but they're out there. We have officially been to the lighthouse at Lookout Key at Lighthouse Point. So we are at the lighthouse at Lookout Key at Lighthouse Point. We've done it. Nice work, everybody. So we came down from the lighthouse, which was kind of up there. We went back there. This is the path that we came up, and now we're making the turn down towards the beach. So this, if you were coming on, would be the left path that you're taking here. Then we've got another, you got another little thing here that tells you to get you some water. This will be another roundabout with a plant in the middle. The great lizard cuckoo. They can fly, they can fly, they can fly. I don't know if this one has a name. Locals call them rain crows because hearing their call is said to signal stormy weather. Oh, that's cool. All right, we'll be on the lookout for them and be listening for them. I don't know what they sound like. The limestone cliffs. These are cool. You can tell this is water used to be hitting this. Wow. Wow, that's cool looking. Yeah, we've made it to the beach. I like how this is just a little sign that tells you the beach. But there is no lifeguards out here. Sharp coral, exposed rocks, marine debris, wildlife, ocean currents. It's a dangerous place. You can see we're not really that far from the family beach. There's a lot more coral out here though. I'd like to bring my mask over here and go swimming up here or down here. If you don't mind the hike, this is definitely a secluded area over here. Some people are climbing the rocks again, yonder. Another guest suggested that I climb up and over this cliff and you'll be able to see the Disney cruise ship. I didn't bring my rock climbing shoes with me. I just got flippy floppies on. This is a cool little secluded area right here. Gives you some shade from this sun and the elements up inside of here, underneath these little cliffs. Yeah, look at these limestone cliffs too. And there it is, as far down the beach as you can go. Now, from what they were saying, you can climb over this and get to another beach on the other side where you can see the Disney cruise ship, but I don't need to do that. I'm okay. You ain't never met a conch like this. This is the queen conch. There it is, a marine snail. But we were supposed to dig down to see if we could see the pink sand. Unlike land-based snails, which slide slowly to get where they need to go, conchs have protruding foot that they can use to drag themselves forward. Look at me, I'm making people happy. So this is a marine snail, and then right behind it, we've got some land snails. Look at that, they all look dead though. A little bit bleached out in the sun. We just got back to the boardwalk and it was a, a almost a mile, just under, like a hair under a mile. From here to the lighthouse, down to the beach, down to the rocks, back up and then back here. So if you don't go all the way down to the beach, it'll be less than a mile by a little bit. And so, yeah, not bad at all. Not a bad walk at all. Made it back and they're doing the sun fun beach bash. Such a fun activity. It's like a bohemian version of Chippendale Rescue Rangers that they're playing during the summer fun beach bath, sun fun beach bath. So there are a limited number of these things around that are meant to just like act like your hands swishing the flies away. And so, so far they seem to be working. You have to keep it really close to your food though. And the wind does slow it down. So we'll see. The flies were just here. I turned that thing on, they're gone now. So this is, it seems to be working. It's about 1.30. Lines are definitely shorter today. I'm just gonna go for for, uh, for a hot dog again. Hot dogs, hamburgers. These are some chili so you can put on top of your hot dogs. Like chili dogs. It says Southern Barbecue Baked Beans. Oh, I, don't, I don't know about that. Over here by True True Barbecue, Mickey and Minnie and characters will meet over here. So you can see Mickey over there. Minnie's kind of walking around right here. She just finished with her meet and greet. And then Pluto and Goofy will come next. And then Donald and Daisy will be here. But I don't know if Chip and Dale will come over here. I haven't seen that on the on the, Hi, on the the schedule. Actually, I saw, um, you missed Chip because I saw him walking through the fence. Oh, we missed not, it? And he, he did not come out. Oh, okay. He left. Yeah. All right. So now that we're all done with lunch, Time for us to go get in the water for just a few minutes because we are headed back to Sebastian's Cove to go to the open house. All right, so we were looking for the pink sand. We think we found a little bit of it, right? Like, you can see some of the red in it. Uh-oh. You see how there's like little pieces of red in there? Yeah, you can kind of see it right here. 
Definitely pink. There it is, right there. That's the pink sand. You ready? But real concerned with me getting too close to the coral. But we're doing okay. There's, there's a lot of coral out here. And you will see fish. But on a day like this, it's definitely harder to do. Because there's a lot of waves. Alright, now we're going to head up and go to Sebastian's Cove for the Youth Activities Open House. It's about 2.45 and I just want to give you guys a view of the empty chairs up here on the island. So this is Sebastian's Cove, and you can see there's no sign on it currently, but we do know there will be a sign. Probably here, there will probably be something. And there looks like there's some brackets up there for some signage too, or more, I don't know, more supports or something like that. But there's definitely is supposed to be a sign. Sebastian's Cove. It does seem like there is some form of food option for the kid over, kids over there, I will ask but it's like a splash pad. All through here, there's like a little area for playing sand soccer. There's an area for building sand castles. Yeah, this is nice. This is Oliver's a little bit too young for this section, but he's gonna go in there. What do you see in here, bud? Yeah, soccer ball? I have those little dumpers up here that dump water on you. Oh, this is like from when they're singing under the sea, right? Yeah, the Duke is the, oh, but they're also doing junk canoe instruments. Jackson make a little car out of these things. These are fun. Uh oh. Godzilla's coming. Yeah, and there he is, Sebastian, the namesake of this cove. So this is really interesting. There are bathrooms over here for the kids. And I talked to one of the counselors and yes, this is a food location for the kids. And I'm gonna try to find out what kind of food they serve here, but they were saying they think it was just hot dogs and hamburgers, but they're the afternoon crew, so they didn't see the lunch being served. And there's no menu or anything over here. But yeah, they do serve food over here. And it makes sense because True True is right there. So I did find out that when the kids are in here, they can get lunch. It's hot dogs, hamburgers, chicken tenders, and fruit. And these are like half portions, like half of a hamburger, half of a hot dog. I'm sure they can get more if they are still hungry, but food is available. Right, we've got a sign over here, plats and pleats. $4 per braid for kids or $5 per braid for adults. And we're gonna continue our way down the path over here, heading towards the adult beach, Serenity Bay. So we are completing our tour from the other day. This like large sandy area is interesting to me. Do you think they're gonna plant something there or are they just gonna leave this as a sandy area? So we're back behind the Goombe Cultural Center and there's just this building here that I'm not sure what it is. We're gonna find out right now. So this is Flippers and Finn's snorkel rental. And then directly to the left of that, another bar and bathroom pack called Bow and Ribbon Bar. And from that bar, we keep going down the walkway here. We're making our way up to True True 2. Same exact setup as True True 1, but look at all the fly things that they've got over here. Holy cow. We only had like two per pavilion. They've got one at every table. What? This is where they're at. They're hoarding them over here. Why didn't we have this many? We had to, I had to like go up and ask the cast member, the crew member for it. So I feel like maybe there's just less flies over here because they've got all the deterrents. Also, we have a friend who has an allergy with us. He has a tree nut allergy, and he had to come to True True 2 barbecue. He said there were no, no flies hovering around the food over here when he came. But I wanna show you guys where the allergy pickup window is. So if we kind of come around the side over here, there's one window way on the left over here that's not labeled right now. That is allergy pickup for when you, you give them your order on the ship, and they're supposed to have it ready for you over here. Is that the bird? That looks like a mockingbird. I don't think that's actually the bird that we were supposed to be looking for. What was it called? It was called the lizard cuckoo. There's a bathroom pack here at the end of the, like the pavilions, the food pavilions. By the way, there are four different pavilions here and every single table has those fly deterrents on this side. Feeling like this might be the better side to get food at. So we are coming up on Serenity Bay, the adults only section, and you can see these are the Serenity Bay Cabanas. This is the family beach. Not a huge separation between the two. 
Let's see if we can see the separation on the water or on the beach. So we're out here on the family beach right now. And the only thing that I can see that's a differentiator, that's a differentiator between the family beach and Serenity Bay is just the stop of the chairs. And then further down on the other side of that lifeguard stand, I think is Serenity Bay where the chairs begin again. So just like a, you know, like a hundred foot section of beach that doesn't have any chairs on it. The beach is also deeper over here. So like the chairs are back further and there's like a lot of beach space between here and the water compared to where we were. Should also be noted that there are public beach chairs kind of right next to the adult cabanas. So as in contrast to Castle Key where there's like a no public beach chairs next to the cabanas. There's a, like a fence, like a, a rope netting that separates the two beaches. So here we are heading into Serenity Bay. This is 18 and older. And these are the Serenity Bay cabanas right here. So there are seven cabanas over here. And five of them are the just regular cabanas. And then you got two family size cabanas or larger cabanas, grand cabanas is what they're called. So this would be the grand cabana right here where you have just the normal typical size cabana here, but then attached to it is this large deck with couches and everything. Oh, they got like glass doors over there. Whoa, fancy. Yeah, I'd like to try to get one of these grand cabanas one time. It looks really nice. Oh, here's something that's nice. Over here at Serenity Bay, they've got their own barbecue restaurant, but they also have like individual tables with real chairs. Whereas over in the family section, we have picnic style benches. But I'm also not seeing any of the little like fly deterrent things over here on these tables. So I don't know what the fly situation is over here. This I think is just like sodas and ice cream. And then you've got the blue hole bar as well as a bathroom pack over here. Now let's go down and have a look at the beach over here at Serenity Bay. See, you got some nice chairs up here. A good opportunity for shade with the umbrellas. Ooh, Serenity Bay, not very big. So where it starts is down there at that lifeguard stand. And then it just kind of goes to right over here. And that's it. So it's not very big at all. Here's something that's interesting. It's about 350. We need to start heading towards the trans stop around four in order to get on the ship at all aboard 445. Or if, uh, yeah, at 445. Some people are walking that way away from where the ship is. They're like going on a walk. I don't think they're headed back this way. Well, there's nothing stopping you from going that way, but there is a sign here that says, you are now leaving Disney property, no lifeguard on duty, swim at your own risk. But this is still, I believe probably public beach. You could still go down there and explore if you'd like to, but just be wary of the time. I never actually asked about the bike rentals because we didn't see anybody on bikes today. So we didn't even go through with our bike rental. We had one for today. I never asked. I'll have to ask when we get back to the ship. All right, we quickly ran up and we got on a tram right away and now it's gonna leave. Perfect timing. My that means we've come to the end we of our uh, only spent about six minutes on the tram this time. The people are heading back. We hope you visit us again. The, uh, the sea, she was angry today. Getting a little bit more rough. It's gonna be a fun trip out of here. We'll be bouncing at dinner tonight. So there's a song here that I don't know if it's specific for Lighthouse Point, but it talks about Eleuthera, it talks about Lighthouse Beach. So I think this is a specific song that Disney made for the island, but he said, come down to Eleuthera. So is it Eleuthera or is it Eleuthera? I don't know. It might be just the way that the locals pronounce it. All right, we left Goombe tram stop at four o'clock. It's now 4.30, we're back at the ship. So earlier we were mentioning that the wagons are complimentary and they are available here at the ship to take across the bridge and then you get you leave them there and then you get on the tram and then you go to the next stop more wagons there but these are limited so if you want to use a wagon be sure to get off the ship early all right now it's time for dinner. So, going, we're all showered and everything, ready to go. go. Headed down to Enchanted Garden. Look at this, like fancy lights all around here. This is such a beautiful restaurant and I like that it changes. So you'll notice by the end of dinner, it'll be nighttime out in here. The Enchanted Garden Platter. A selection of charcuterie with a whole grain baguette and peach marmalade. Mm. This is garlic and parsley sauteed shrimp on jambalaya rice. 
is what our friend got. It looks uh, pretty good, actually. Jen got the salmon gravelox, slices of dill marinated salmon with honey mustard dressing. This was called the coronation of mixed leaves, vine tomatoes, blue cheese, apples, candied walnuts, and aged red wine vinegar. I got the trio of veal, grilled veal loin, pulled shank, and tortillacci pasta with sun-dried tomato and sage reduction garnished with a potato crisp. All right, so I also got the trio of veal. Tim said mine looked better than his. I don't know, I didn't really see his. What do you think? Tell us down below, whose who's looks better? I mean, it looks pretty delicious, but I also got the filet of turbo, 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 which was their fish. And I asked my server, I said, uh, how is the fish? And I think I ordered it last time we were here on our last cruise, but he said, um, not a lot of people like it, so. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see how we do. This is the no sugar added dessert. This is the tiramisu. Lady fingers soaked in amaretto espresso and layered with mascarpone cream. I like this like setup we got here. They changed the comment cards to digital. So now we just got to scan this QR code rather than doing the, uh, the the comment card. I think it's supposed to be a ray, but it kind of looks like an airplane. What? Oh, J Jackson said it was a mustache. A mustache. As you do. It's the end of the night. Kids took a little bit longer to get to sleep than we thought they were going to. So it's like... It was 10 o'clock when they went to sleep. It's 11 o'clock now. We've been like kind of relaxing for the last hour. I have to admit something. I really like Lighthouse Point. Like I really like it. It's a new, a new like destination. Everything is so nice and it looks so, so beautiful. And I understand that there are issues. Like it's not done yet. They're not done building it yet. There are flies, but like I feel good when I leave the island and like there's so much to do there and there's so much like disney there as well as like bohemian stuff i want to go back to lighthouse point more than i want to go back to castaway and i love castaway for our next cruise i want to specifically find one that goes to lighthouse point because i want to go back i know that it takes a long time to actually get to the location but like traversing from one end to the other didn't take very long at all it's just like getting there and i like I know that the pier is long, but I like that it's long because they did that specifically to protect the reef. So just a quick thought, some food for thought for you. But today was such a great day. That was it. We went out of my house <laughs> and dinner was delicious too. So all in all, it was a fantastic day. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price. <laughs> <laughs>